All right, Dylan, would you like to do some blind mic trivia or what we call here the blind mic blind spot? Because, you know, I'm ready for uh, some blind mic trivia. Yeah, you know about Blind Mike, you watch him, but you don't know the past. He's been around forever, so let's learn a little past. Welcome to Gearboxes, Blind Mike Blind Spot, the game where we ask Blind Mike Geary three questions, and we have you, our weird but lovely guest, and our giant fry lady. Both choose the best option that you think Blind Mike. Love me a giant fry lady. Got it. You said you're giant tittied fry lady. Simple (laughs) enough. We are going right into it today. The first question, Blind Mike, what is your favorite college football team? Oh, something that's very important to, and near and dear to my heart. What is Blind Mike's favorite college football team? Is it the Colorado Buffaloes? Or could it be the Texas Longhorns? Or is it the Boston College Eagles? Okay, Dylan, since you are the guest and were voted most likely to kill any host of a show, you are on. Hey. You are up first. Then, Fry Lady, who is Blind Mike's college football team? All right, Dylan. All right. This is the first one, right? Now, now, the loser of this contest between you two has to say, I will lick Boogie's butt. That's the, <laughs> that's, that's what you say. That's the loser. You got to say it, and then I'll sample it, and we'll play it forever. I will lick Boogie, Boogie's butt. All right, so, these are very important. There's stakes attached. You've already got so many drops of me trying to be funny and making myself <laughs> sound like a gay man. You're adding another one to the pile. Uh, Yes, yes, the pile which the date uh, left a dookie on that you just had. Yes, all right, Dylan. Blind Mike's favorite college football team. Would that be the Colorado Buffaloes and Deion Sanders? Would be the Texas Longhorns. Maybe he's a Southern guy. He likes the South. Or or are we going to go for the obvious answer? He's from Boston. He loves Boston College. I made it easy. I made it so easy that you might get it wrong, Dylan. Who do you got? Something about the Texas Longhorns. I, I I believe he might. He's. I'm going a Longhorns guy for blind. Can Mike. I lock? Can I lock you in? Lock me in. Texas. We're Longhorns. locking him into the Texas Longhorns. Blind DJ favorite team. DJ Electrify. He has picked the Longhorns from the state of Texas. Do you agree, or do you think it's maybe from Colorado or Boston? Remember, Blind Mike has never mentioned this on air, so this is a total wild guess. Go. Well, the only one that I've ever heard of is the Texas Longhorns, but number three, Boston College Eagles is what I'm going to go with. Can I lock you in? Yeah. We're locking her in at number three. As the Washington football team. Yes. Yes. Are you guys excited to see who wins this first round? It's round of three, so just if you lose here, it doesn't mean anything. Let's go. I'm very sad that Oregon Ducks, by the way, is not on this list. Here we go. Okay. The answers are locked in. Yes, they are, Jerry. If you said Blind Mike looks like he can wrestle a steer to the ground and plant a U of T hat on that bad boy, you're a winner. That is right. Blind Mike has zero allegiances to his region and just casually mocks the whole thing. Kudos, Mike. Okay, now... All right, Dylan! I gave you Dylan, that one, Dylan. Dylan gets a point. DJ Electra is at zero. You Here were we thinking go. of going for the Longhorns, but you allowed me to have it solo. Yep. And now you get to say the line. Listen, remember, the line is, I love to lick Boogie's asshole. Uh, here we go. <laughs> to our second question, Blind Mike Geary, give me your guilty pleasure TV show or sitcom. All right. Now he can't see him, but he can hear him. Keep that in mind. Now, clearly, Seinfeld couldn't be in the running for this. So I have taken myself out. Dylan and Fry Lady is number one, Love After Lockup. Is it not? No, do we know that show, Dylan? Do you know Love After Lockup? That sounds like a a show of people getting together after prison. Is this about Joey C. and Mrs. C., this Love (laughs) After Lockup? I've never heard of it. That's a love during lockup. (laughs) You know their love story. It didn't happen after. It happened during. But no, this is about, this is on the W channel. It's a W channel. I don't know what it is, but it's at the bottom. Not a B after that W? <laughs> Maybe, but it's very WB-like. But you get to see the women and the men uh, fall in love with people on the other side of the bars, and then they get out, and they get ignored immediately because we're free. Get out of my face. <laughs> you put money on my books. I'm done with you. And so is that it? Is that it? I don't know. Let's see what else we have. Number two. Situational comedy, yes, dear. 
Or is okay, well, that's that's a lot different than the first one. So okay, just... yeah, yes, dear. I, I actually, uh, uh, Greg Garcia uh, created Yes, Dear, and he went to the uh, college I should have gone to instead of Towson. He went to uh, uh, Frostburg, and in every Greg Garcia sitcom, there is a Frostbite Falls uh, joke, getting it mixed up with Frostburg University. Both of your schools sound, yeah. Both of your schools sound fake. I don't believe any of those are real. I only Why went to you... in University for a semester. I should have gone to Frostburg. Neither of those schools have a state. Like I, I went to Oregon. You're not going to school unless you go to one with a state in it. Towson Period. University used to be Towson State. They they got rid of the state. What is the idea? Okay, okay, I'm driving to Towson this weekend. It's not a state, Dylan. We're trying to make it one. Is it number three? The Thousand Pound Sisters. Oh no, we have another one, which is amazing. Uh, the Tammy and the other one, and they love, love, love sugar. Oh, they love sugar. Wait, that's a real show? Oh, you don't know about that? I know people oh. who that is their guilty pleasure. So, yes, dear, is indeed my guilty pleasure. But knowing it being the guilty pleasure of multiple people, me, 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 me. I'll fi I'll figure out words one of these. Sounds times. like your date's <laughs> asshole last night. <laughs> hey yo. Luckily there was loud music. I didn't actually hear it happening. I'm trying but, to get uh, a picture of the, trying to get a picture of these thousand pound sisters so you can take a look at them. I don't watch yeah. TV, so I had no idea. So they, they each weigh like five hundred pounds, they add up to a thousand or what? Exactly. Exactly. They've been losing weight. Uh oh, I, I believe yeah. it, it were if it were to be accurate, they're about the six hundred or uh, 500 pounds? No, I don't think they're down to 250 a piece now. That would be in actual human range. Uh, uh, there they there are. they are. Okay. They used to so, be giant, enormous. You remember those twins that would ride bicycles that you would see in the Guinness Book of World Records? That's what that what these ladies were, and now they're all bobbleheaded Ozempic Craigers. The the wow. Oh, Craigers. Uh, they're Craigers. They're the Craigers. Yeah, you. Tammy is the one on the right. I don't know about the one on the left, but Tammy is the one. Uh, she sucks dick, and her husband died, so she's she's, she's very horny right now. She's All available. Right. I see. So okay. those are those are the sisters. We know what love after lockup is, and we know what yes dear is. Lock in your answers for question number two. We're gonna lock in the answers. Dylan, you go first as our guest. What is I'm Blind Mike's guilty pleasure TV show? Us a go go. I've got to go with Thousand Pound Sisters, but Yes, Dear, for me, is a guilty pleasure. I love anything right. from Greg Garcia. So, Thousand Lock Pound Sisters, in. final answer. Locking you in. And what do you think? Do you think it's Love After Lockup? Do you think it's a sitcom named Yes, Dear? Do you think it's a, a, a half-ton sister? Bohemoths. What do you I think? I think it's uh, Love After Lockup. Love After Lockup. Have you seen this show? No. It's on Wii TV. I just looked up. It's called Wii TV. Okay. All right, so we're going to lock you in. Women's entertainment. Yes, yes. All right, locking in. We got number one and number three. Uh, and if it's number two, then I'm just some sort of genius. Anyway, here we go. Okay, the answers are locked. If you picked the Anthony Clark Mike O'Malley vehicle, you would be getting a ride today. If you oh, picked wow. any other, you'd be walking. Yes, that is right. Very oh, good. Mike like good shows like some. I got both of you motherfuckers. <laughs> Blind Mike, we can do a Why Are You Laughing on Yes, Dear and the rest of the Greg Garcia catalog, including season one of Raising Hope, but it was fucking awful after season one, Raising Hope. Yes. yes. Okay. Uh, all right. Yes. Uh, 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 bl Blind Mike, he he's a man that is from the Dat Fan Tom Myers area of comedy, and he loves your show. You guys are born to be together. I have found your soulmate. Garrett Alba, Dylan is your soulmate. All right. And I was even for... uh, singing the praises of Yes, Dear. Being a fan of it, it is a dumb sitcom, but it hits all the beats of a dumb sitcom. Like, How I Met Your Mother hit all the fun beats of a dumb sitcom for most of its run until, see, I don't know, six, seven. And you, I think a sitcom has a good five to eight seasons in them. That's why Seinfeld got out at the right point. They had not... Uh, fucked it all up by season nine yet, but Jerry knew we're gonna fuck it up soon. Let's get out of here. 
It was on the way to getting fucked up, for sure, 100%. The last 10 episodes, you're like, oh, are we there yet? Uh, all right, we have one point, but Dylan, zero for DJ Electra. Mm. DJ Electra, you're going to have to say the words if you don't get this one right. And if you both tie, then no one has to do it. There we go. The final question. This one's hard. This is an over-under. Seinfeld, inside in the office. He also liked garbage shit poo-poo shows as well. He's just like us folks. Okay, our final question tonight is an over and under. Blind Mike Geary, give us the amount of eating injuries you've had in your life due to lack of sight, over or under five injuries. Injuries could include not seeing the fork, not seeing a bone, eating a spider. All these would count. So the question again, Blind Mike, in your long life, how many injuries eating caused by blindness over or under five? All right. Do you understand the question? It's a complicated Wild one. Eating. So uh, running so, into the dumpster does not count. No. Yeah. So imagine being blind and then sticking a fork in your face every time to eat food. And you don't know what's on the end of that fork. Could be a spider every time. You eat thousands of spiders. You never know. I do so I'm have asking to give you. Blind Mike some props. He has not chipped his tooth on a chicken wing as Stavros does, who has his full sight. Yes, and that, that, that's the question. The amount of injuries while eating due to blindness in his life. That's why I picked five. Has he had over or under? Do you think he's had f five or more injuries due to not seeing a bone, not seeing where the fork is, or has he had less? That's the question. That's the gambit, folks. And we're going to go to DJ Electrify first. DJ Electrify, over or under five? You know, he doesn't seem very accident prone, so I'm going to go under five. Can I lock you in? Yes. Locked in under five. Dylan, amount of injuries while eating due to blindness, over or under five? Remember, you're up one nothing. If you get this wrong, like the good play here is just to copy Electrify because then you win. You, yeah, but if you want to be I brave, was... you strike out on your own. Uh, just in general, I was thinking under as well. So not even just uh, strategizing. I was thinking under as well. All right, DJ Electrify, we don't normally do this. But because he copied you, we're going to give you the last vote. Would you like to keep what you had? Or would you like to go to the over? I'm because if you go the over, now. well, then you're not going to win. Do you understand how this fucking works? <laughs> You said if we both if we tie on this one, then no, I we, said if you tie. <laughs> no, I said if you tie. So like you have to win this one to tie because he's up one nothing. You understand? Oh, so now I'm I have saying to go to, over to win. Well, no, I'm saying that he is picking under and you're picking under. So if you both are right, then he still wins. If you're both are wrong, he still wins. Your Fine, only I'll hope here. Over. Then I'll go. Oh, over. she's going over. She's gonna Fine. do it. So you said it's over, fine. yes? Fine, yeah. All right. If it's over, it's a tie. No one has to say the embarrassing words. If you lose, you got to say, you know what you have to say. Say it for me. Say, it. Tell me what you have to say. No, I'm not going to say it yet. <laughs> oh, I, I almost got yet. you. I okay. almost got you. I almost got you. All right. No, oh, isn't this exciting, people? Here we go. Okay, folks, this is the last chance to put in your bets. Lock the last chance to put in the bets, chat. Lock them in. The answer to what is the amount of eating-related blind injuries have you had? And the answer to this question from Blind Mike himself. Zero. Not one. Mike is throwing it. a perfect eating game. I mean, Jesus, I've almost taken my eye out with a salad fork. And as you all know, that means the under right idea and the over shit and... It's the over shit, DJ Electrify. You lose. Kudos, <laughs> Dylan and Electrify, for playing the game. Never this is Jerry Seinfeld, game. and we will see you next week with more Blind Mike Blind Spot here on the only Blind Mike Breakdown Show on the internet. I like to lick Boogie's butt. There, I said it. Hold on, hold on. We were. Hold on. No, did that it. didn't count. Yeah, everyone dude. be quiet. No, hold on. Everyone be quiet. I need to press gotta B. Have it clear. And... Gotta have hold it on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And three, two, one. I lick Boogie's Hold on, butt. I didn't press the right button. We're going to do it one more time. Nope, that was it. We... No, no, we got... no, I no. said it's a clear. 
Nope. DJ Electrify. DJ Electrify. No. One I more time. No. no, one more time. I didn't even get it. I said no. All right, then. Yeah, I'm sorry. We have to remove you. <laughs>